fish in the family salmon a day are my favorite to target. But tiger trout, a brook trout brown trout hybrid, have always blown my mind. Their ferocity contrasted with their stunning pattern and beauty have taken up many hours in my thoughts. In this two-part adventure, I travel through the state of Utah to chase these fish. The challenges were greater than I anticipated, but so were the rewards. This is my journey for tiger trout. This is my tiger trek. What is up you guys? Thanks for tuning into the channel. I am stoked out of my mind for this trip. Um, I mentioned it in my last video when I was uh, 10 car fishing that little kind of meadow stream that I was going on a tiger trek is what I'm calling it. This, this awesome journey to go and just to target one species and that being tiger trout. I'm at the first stop or at least I'm pretty close. This is as far as I can take my car. So uh, I'm gonna leave the subi here and uh, this will be kind of like my base camp for the next couple days. And then I've just got a couple mile hike uh, up the mountain to the lake or the lakes. There's, there's a couple of them up there that I'm planning on fishing. So I'm gonna grab all my gear and then I'm gonna hike down to the lake, fish it for a couple hours. And then I'll have to also hike out cause I'm not gonna backpack in and sleep by the lakes. Uh, I think it's, there's not gonna be a whole lot of places down there to set up a tent. At least that's what it looked like. On, uh, on the GPS. I'm stoked, it's gonna be a dope week. Hopefully I can get into some big tigers. Here we go. I am out of shape. I think we're only at like 9,000 feet, but I am, I am breathing. Oh, you guys, check out that view though. This is some pretty sick terrain. Oh, I am out of shape. That's a good way to start the trip right there. Some nice red rock, I'll take that. Well, dumb mistake. I came wearing shorts and walked through something I should not have walked through, and it burns. Definitely gonna wear pants and a long sleeve tomorrow, that sucks. There's the first lake. Fish are rising like crazy down there. I'm gonna rig up my fly rod and we're gonna go give it a whirl. I'm using my new Lampson Liquid cassette reel with my uh, Temple Fork Outfitters five weight. The cool thing about the cassette reel, and I'll talk more about this later, is I actually have a spool with sinking line, floating line, intermediate line, that I can just snap in and out <clears throat> really quick. So it's kind of like three reels in one. Oh. Good, good hit, good take, good take. Oh, get out of there, buddy. Crap, get out of there. He's still on, but I think he's all wrapped around the... Oh, I think I got him out. Nope, he's not out. Oh, oh yeah, he's out, he's out. Heck yeah. Well, new PB. That was sick. It's a tiger. 
Heck yeah. First fish of the trip. Not a bad, not a bad one, not huge, but pretty. Gonna let him go. Yeah. There he goes. Man, that fish smoked the chubby. My sunglasses are all crooked. Holy cow, that was crazy. Yeah, he freaking annihilated the chubby. It hit the water and he just came flying. Whew. All right, one tiger down, many more to go. Good tiger, good tiger. Don't go in there, buddy. Oh, he's pretty. Oh, he's pretty. Oh, really pretty, really pretty fish. Come here, buddy. Come here, smoke the chubby again. Oh, yeah. Holy cow, look at that fish. Look at that. That is a pretty fish right there. Hit the chubby. There he goes. My instincts were bad. I was thinking throwing a leech and some scud was gonna be the ticket, but my fish so far have all come on a chubby Chernobyl, a big old terrestrial, big white and purple, top water, dry. Oh man, yeah, I'm getting destroyed by the mosquitoes, but I kind of figured that would be the case once I got close to the water. Look at this though. Just this little lake. So cool. If I was just hiking and saw this, I would not expect there to be a bunch of tigers in here. Oh, a brookie. All right, sun came back out, but I'm getting destroyed by bugs. And uh, I'm pretty hungry, so I think I'm gonna hike back down to the car, done fishing for the day. It's almost dinner time. So I'm gonna kind of relax for a little bit and then I'll start a fire to cook my dinner. Tomorrow's gonna be a, a really fun day, but tomorrow's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a lot of work, I think, because I'm gonna wake up, hike up to the first lake, probably just pass the first lake completely, and the other lakes up here. Uh, there's not a, I don't think there's a path, a trail to get to them. 
So I think I was gonna have to bushwhack through that nasty stuff, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can catch some big tigers. you guys could smell this. Really roughing it. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been tough. Ribeye for dinner. <clears throat> I don't know if it's just because I'm camping, but oh rain. But that might be one of the that's one of the best steaks I've ever had in my life. I don't know if it's just something about cooking over a fire yourself. Mm. So good, oh yeah. We're, uh, we're about to get some rain. Just in the nick of time. I'm gonna put my fire out, sit out here as long as I can until it starts to get pretty soggy and then take shelter. That's home. Not too shabby. Hopefully I can uh, get some good sleep. It's still pretty light out. I'm going to bed pretty early, but I'm just gassed. So hopefully as the night goes on, it will cool down and I'll be able to sleep pretty good. Look at that sunrise, not too shabby. It's a little chilly out here this morning, which kind of is honestly refreshing after such a warm night. I'm gonna pack up, eat some breakfast, and then be on my way. So I'm gonna get a fire started for breakfast, and uh, I'll see you guys real soon. All right, ready to go, let's hit it. Guys, oh, it's windy up here, which feels good. I don't know why, but that hike today fell so much harder than yesterday. I'm here at the first lake. It's uh, it's down there. I'm excited. The hard part is done. The climb up the mountain's over. Now I just, I think it'll be pretty level. Maybe like one more climb to one of the other lakes. It is a pretty sick view, though. Oh, this part. It's just so thick. Oh, and of course, all these things with the pink flowers, those are the super pokey ones. Huh. Well, that's the next lake. It is really snaggy, really mossy and really thick. To get to the other lakes, I gotta just go through this crap. So it's uh, 
I think I jinxed myself when I said I got through the hardest part. Getting through all this crap is, is tough. I just saw some swimming down there. I'm gonna set up the spinning gear. We'll see what happens. Can you guys see that thing? Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Look at that, you guys. Can you guys see that? Oh, I hope the camera is doing it justice. That is freaking so sick. Look at that. Tank. That is so sick. There it goes. Hiking up this morning, I was wondering if it was gonna be worth it. <laughs> like, second cast of the day and that dude smokes my marabou jig. Today's gonna be a good day. Let's go do it again. I got a big old chubby and then down beneath I've got a black woolly bugger. So, I don't know. They're eating something off the top. I don't know if it's just because I'm on the fly rod or what, but this fish feels so strong. Oh, did he get me hung up? Nope, he's just dragging me through the weeds. Come on, buddy. Come on up. Oh. Crap, my net is clear over there. Okay, we're free. Oh man. Oh gosh. Stay out of there, stay out of there. Oh man. Oh. Flies stuck on all that crap. Oh, okay. This is a mess. Oh, got him. Got him. <sighs> yes. That's a tank. Look at that thing. It's a beast. There he goes. <sighs> On the chubby Chernobyl. That was so crazy. He was so strong. When he was like kicking, I thought I was gonna lose him. On the fly rod, I was like, I don't even know what to do right now. That's two fish. And it's probably been like six hours or seven hours, but it's worth it. I'd do it again. All the pokey bushes and the stinging nettle and all the mosquitoes and heat exhaustion or whatever the crap that was, I'd do it again.
little tiger, Tech Chubby. Alright, bro. Bro, 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 relax, relax. Little tiger, Tech Chubby. That is the prettiest cutthroat I've ever seen. It's, I think it's a Colorado cutthroat. Look at that belly. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Look at that fish. The belly on him is so cool. So happy to see Obi Wan. I think I will get way better sleep at, in an actual tent. So I brought a tent just in case, and I uh, thought maybe I'd want to sleep in it a night or two. So we gave sleeping in the car a try, but I did not figure it out. I was I slept terribly last night. So, anyways, I'm gonna set up the tent. Well, I'm laying here trying to take a nap and uh, starts coming down pretty good. Morning. I uh, slept a lot better last night than I did in the car, so glad I uh, glad I got the tent all situated. I'll just let all my stuff dry out from all the rain yesterday. And then once it's dry, I'm gonna pack up and head to destination two, going to the creek. Gonna continue on the next episode, chasing some tigers on the Tinkara gear. Should be a good time. Sit next to the fire, cooking some bacon, then be followed by some eggs, and then just packing up camp. So, thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Tiger Trek, my Tiger Trek. I'm super excited for the upcoming episodes, like I've already said. Today, I'm gonna be driving to the next location and fishing a creek with my Tenkar gear for some tigers. Good things are coming. Thanks for tuning in to the episode today. I appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing so you get notified when I post the rest of the series. And like this video. Leave a comment too, what you think. Um, I like hearing that you guys enjoy the content. So, see you guys in the next episode. Now go catch some fish. Peace.